All right, everybody, this is going to be our programming for the first full week of July. Um, it's going to have a theme, uh, Spartan Training Week. Uh, reason being, we got uh, two Spartan races coming up, August 1st and August 22nd. Uh, that keeps us on pace to get the trifecta uh, for the gym. Uh, so, Spartan Training Week, this is what we got. Um, we got a nice little push-up challenge for the whole month of July. We've started that last week. Uh, 50 push-ups a day. Keep that going even on a Sunday. No rest day. Uh, weekly challenge this week. See if you can get 10 minutes max distance row. Um, a couple people already knocked that out. It's a pretty good one. Uh, just keep that in mind if you got any energy uh, during this week. So let's get into this, huh? So Monday. Monday, you're looking at uh, two rounds for warm-up, 10 ring rows, 10 push-ups, 20-second handstand hold, 10 goblet squats, 106-meter jog. Take that warm-up nice and easy. Again, just warming up. However, make sure you get that in. Um, for skill portion, we're going to practice some bunny hops over the hurdles and uh, through the speed ladder. Get us quick on the feet. Um, and that's going to prep us for our run, our 800-meter run in the workout. Again, we want to land on the balls of our feet. Um, okay, so wad alpha, four time, you're doing 800-meter run into 30 burpee box jump overs at a higher than usual, 30, 24, into 30 pull-ups, 30 hand-release push-ups, 30 jumping air squats. And then I threw in an optional rest in there between zero and six minutes to rest. Some people are kind of crazy and they just want to do the next part right off the bat, which is cool. However, both Alpha and Bravo are scored separately, so their times are different. And then for Bravo, four time is a 400 meter double dumbbell carry with the 50 40 pounders, or we can use 53 35 pound kettlebells. Go for a nice little run with some kettlebells. Okay, that's really going to help us uh, get used to uh, lifting up there. Oh, you got see that T? The T's texting me. Um, okay, so yeah, I mean that's pretty straightforward. Uh, work kind of hard. Work, go fast. Go as hard as you can, uh, and then knock out uh, that nice little run in there. Again, we got uh, A and B or times are scored differently, so. Go hard on both. Also, make sure you work mobility in there. Glute smash, smash. We've been squatting a lot in the last month or so. Uh, make sure you work not only your on your cheeks, but also the last side of your hip. Uh, and then also uh, get your traps smashed. Your shoulders are going to be smoked from carrying those kettlebells and dumbbells. And then work that T-spine with a double lacrosse ball. Should be a good one on a Monday. So make sure we show up on Monday. All right, Tuesday. Uh, hell of a warm up in there. Get that in. Uh, one of those t shirts that says, uh, Our warm up is your workout. This is kind of that day. Uh, so knock it out. Um, so for the workout, we're looking at a 20 minute partner AMRAP. Um, this is going to be a good workout to kind of ease yourself into. Okay. Uh, partner one is going to be working, knocking out 50 jumping jacks, 25 burpee pull ups. 50 flutter kicks each leg, 25 American kettlebell swings, and then 50 double unders or 150 singles. Uh, you're looking at partner one's working, but partner two is going to be having a blast, and they're going to be running a 400 meter uh, with a wall ball. So that should be a really, really good time. Um, again, ease yourself into that. So once your partner two comes back, Go ahead and slap hands and then pick up uh, wherever that last person uh, left off. It's a 20-minute AMRAP. Like, like I said earlier, kind of ease yourself into this one. Um, our skill is going to be after the workout. Um, coaches, give your athletes a couple minutes to rest. And then uh, we want to pick up those PVCs and we're going to throw them into a tire. Uh, this is simulating the uh, Spartan spear throw. Uh, just as you're tired, learn to practice about 10 to 15 meters away from the tire. Throw it through the tire. Should be fun. And we do have some mobility in there. Okay, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, a uh, hell of a warm-up again. 
Our skill is going to be the rope climbs, looking at five by ten, or five, excuse me, five through ten rope climbs. If you're scaling, uh, all good. Just lay on the ground and pull yourself up. Also, a cool little, uh, I guess, uh, scale for our rope climbs because they're in the back. Uh, that rope is close to the wall. So if you need little assistance to get up there, why don't you walk your feet up the wall? Uh, that should be able to give you a little bit of support, kind of like you're scaling a wall. So it should be a good one. Um, wad, you're looking at, we're getting uh, the yokes out, and we're going to set the yokes up um, at the end of our 160-meter run uh, by, the, by the road. And uh, we're just going to go from end of parking lot to the other end of parking lot. That's with the yoke push, pull, and our little bit of run in there. So here's how the workout's going to go. Um, it can either be a bare, bare bone yoke or you can add some weight, whichever, you, whichever one you want. Um, add weight if you're going to do this with a partner, and I'll kind of explain that. Okay, we got four total rounds, so this is going to take some time. You have one minute push of the yoke for max distance. Push as hard as you can, as far as you can. Um, push, use all your energy because you're going to get a one-minute rest in there. Um, after that one-minute rest, you're going to do a one-minute pull. So grab onto the middle of that yoke and just walk backwards and or you know slightly backpedal backwards for max distance. That's going to crush our hamstrings. Uh, after a minute rest, we're going to do it for a ma uh, one-minute run back and forth at the end of that parking lot, max distance. Again, with a one-minute rest in there. There's no score. Work hard. It's kind of like an integrity thing. Put everything you got in there. Just get to work. Um, it's optional partner wad in there. Um, we can attack that two ways. So partner wad, you can add a bunch of weight and push together or pull together or run together. So you can kind of do it together. That that would be that would be kind of a fun little partner thing in there. Or one person works for the one minute and while the other person's resting, um, go ahead and switch and uh, just kind of be each other's partners. And, and coaches, we're going to have to do that anyway, especially on a, on a Wednesday. We're going to have a big class at 530. Um, so we'll have to have some kind of partner in there. Um, but go hard. You have a minute of work, a minute of rest. Go hard. Um, our cool down, we're going to drink water, walk around, uh, and then row 250 meters uh, to 500 meters and stretch out. Classic stretch. Uh, your mobility is athlete specific. All athletes, you, you know what you need to work on. Ask a coach if you need assistance on what mobility drill you need, uh, but we're all, we're all different, so make sure you work on something. Moving into Thursday, if we're not already smoked, and usually Thursdays and Fridays we're smoked anyway, but this is Spartan week, so we need to show up uh, and work hard. So what we're looking at is 400 meter jog, 300 meter row, 200 meter ski. Um, wicked glad we have that ski erg in the gym because uh, you're looking at core to extremity, uh, really open up those uh, your hips and your arms and your core. It's a really good movement. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lift some weight today though. Uh, yesterday, uh, with the yoke, it, you're, you're just pushing some weight. Now we're going to lift something. So skill is deadlift. Make sure we do some, uh, painfully slow deadlifts with a PVC just so we can feel our hamstrings turn on. Our workout is a series is two five minute AMRAPs. So the first five minute AMRAP is going to be five deadlifts at 225, 155, 10 toes to bar and 15 double unders or 45 singles. Your deadlift should go unbroken every single round. So if you're looking at 225 or 155 and you're like, ah, that's like my one rep or three rep max, um, don't, we, we, want, we want to scale that. We want, I want this unbroken. You only have five minutes of work. I'm looking for four to five rounds kind of thing uh, if you're moving quickly. So after that, after that five minute AMRAP, you got a two minute rest. In that two-minute rest, grab some water, walk around, keep moving. Uh, you're going to go into a five-minute AMRAP of five stone ground-to-shoulder cleans um, at a relatively heavy weight. Um, and then you have your 10 toes of bar and 50 dumbbell un 15 double unders. Uh, after that rest, you're looking at a 30, 30 burpee. Uh, look at it as a penalty. So if you're not finishing the Spartan obstacle, you do have a 30 burpee penalty. Uh, so your penalty is a little bit more work today. So after two-minute rest, hit those 30 burpees with everything you got. 
Um, I want you tired. I want you kind of collapsing after that. Um, after you collapse and you, you get moving again, we do have a nice little endurance piece in there. Go for a run. It doesn't have to be crazy fast. You can walk some of it, um, but we have to build some of that endurance because we're going to be running a lot uh, come August 1st and August 22nd in Spartan. Um, we get to use that stone, which is cool. Um, uh, stone is in the Spartan, so be ready for it. And then we have it again on a Friday. So Friday, you're looking at a uh, quick little warm-up. 500 meter row, 200, uh, 200, 25 air squats, and then a bear call down and back on the mats. Uh, you can also use our wrestling mat that we have in the gym now uh, if you don't want to go on the, uh, the normal mats for that bear crawl. Okay, moving into skill. Our skill is going to be a ring row from the muscle up rings though. So what I'm looking at is really like a ring pull up. So we're gonna hang from the rings and uh, with about five reps, we're gonna pull up like you're doing a pull up, and then you're gonna have a five to second hold on your last rep, five to 10 second hold on that last rep. So five pull ups, and as I pull on that top one, do your best to hold the five to 10 seconds, and then come off. You wanna see that about three rounds, um, three rounds of that. So with that, you're gonna go into uh, our Bravo skill piece is gonna be practice kipping uh, on the rings or also on the bar if the rings are a little bit too much, but challenge yourself on the rings because just like in a couple of the obstacle races that we've done already, Rugged Maniac, um, you, you gotta kind of swing from ring to ring. So if you're not used to swinging on a ring, it's gonna be kind of hard. So get, some, get those ring rows in, the ring pull-ups, I guess is what we should call them, uh, practice those uh, kipping on the rings, and then uh, superset in there. So practice a few rounds of this, of this ring, uh, the kipping on the rings, and then superset with uh, five to 10 chin-ups. So after you, you swing a few times, hop off, do a couple chin-ups, uh, not looking for a certain amount, just, you know, get some work in. I mean, get some work in. Um, then our, our strength is going to be sort of challenging as well. You're looking at an EMOM for 12 minutes. Minute zero, you have 15 push-ups. Um, minute one, you're looking at 25 seconds of stone carry down and back on the mat. So we're going to hold that in our front rack position, walk down and back. Uh, we should have a cone out there. Um, yeah, just walk down to pretty much the wrestling mat and then turn around. Um, if we don't have enough stones... Um, or you want to challenge yourself a different way, just go ahead and pick up uh, some kettlebells for a farmer's carry. Um, that'll be just as brutal. Again, you're looking for 25 seconds of strict of straight up walking or kind of slight jog with those with that stone or kettlebells. Minute two, you're looking at uh, three to five reps of stone front squat. So hold on to that stone uh, right in front of you, uh, and then squat down. This is an EMOM. All right, this is an EMOM. So we're getting that's still strength. And then uh, if you're not tired enough, I'm pretty much going to crush you on a Friday uh, with Karen, 150 wall balls, four time. Um, this week is going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging. Uh, so with that, you got to cool down, 750 meter row. And uh, yeah, get some mobility in there. I'm going to add this too. Mobility, mobility. You're going to be sore. Work your specific uh, mobility. Issues, restrictions, right? No issues, restrict, restrictions. Okay. All right. So this is the this is the work. This is your week. This week's gonna be hard, uh, but I promise you, if you can get through this week, you can get through a Spartan. Um, and again, our Spartan is going to be uh, started as a team and completed as a team. I hope you look forward to this week of training because I know I do. Appreciate it, y'all. Thanks.